So people of God, <clears throat> listen, I want to say this right here. You know, I said this over a year or so ago when I shared the picture about what happened in Venezuela where they were throwing the money in the roadway and stuff like that. <clears throat> you know, where that money was equal to toilet tissue. Some people, if we, if you just rely on money, 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 some people are so focused on money when money is losing its value daily. If you just have money and you do not know how to do anything, that money is going to fail you. And I was just talking with one of my elder here who's retired military. <clears throat> he retired out of the military move um, uh, down here from um, upstate. So anyway, <clears throat> he and I had about a 30-minute talk just a minute ago. And um, we were talking about, um, he shared some things and the times that we're living in. And I was sharing some things with him. Um, this morning, you know, my tire and stuff that the shop that didn't have anyone. Um, and um, first of all, before I get into that, let me share this. Before I left that shop where um, I was at <clears throat> earlier, if you saw the previous video, excuse me, I took a tire to get um, mounted and no one showed up for work. They didn't have any text for work. And the manager that was there did not know how to use the, there were two managers there. They did not know how to use the dismount and mounting machine for the tire. So I waited about an hour. Um, nobody still showed up to work, so I left because obviously nobody was coming in, and they did not know how to do the job, right? <clears throat> then she told me when I was leaving, these are nice people, decent people, you know? But when she told me when I was leaving, she said um, she called to the next store and that to see if they could send some... Um, an employee over she said she called to the other store that manager is the only one there at, at work at that other store as well none of his employees showed up so I shared what I shared in this previous video right and then when I was talking to my elder he was saying how people are taking their skills and they're going you know they're, they're, they're deciding to do what's best for them now and, you know, what came to my spirit as I was listening to him talk and he was sharing, I was like, you know what, it's so true. And this is how what the revelation I got, you know, that's how the wealth is stored up for the wicked. He says, yeah, because, you know, you have some people who, um, you know, they have money, the people who are billions and millions of dollars, they'll say, oh, I don't <clears throat> have to know how to do it. I'll just get somebody who knows how to do it. And they never take the time to learn anything. And then sometimes not all people you know, or, or uh, treat people badly. But then on some of these corporations, you have people who are at the top. They've been kicked back for so many years, making so much money after they've built up a corporation. They don't even know how to run it or they don't know how to do the physical labor that it requires to run it. And they've paid people under them the bare minimum and had su people in supervisory positions mistreating folk or folk did not get uh, treated well or feel like they were appreciated. And so now what... A lot of people are doing they're like I have the skills just like with Laban and Jacob when when Jacob Jacob was the one that was blessed he was the one that did all the labor and Laban kept dealing with him treacherously he worked for Leah for the first seven years he gave him uh, he worked for Rachel for the first seven years he gave him Leah you know he deceptively used him and he wanted to keep him there because he knew he was the blessing and remember when I did a video a few days ago a week or so ago I said don't let anybody trick you you are the blessing some, God has put so much on the inside of many of his people. And some people are realizing that. So these people have left these businesses and they've gone off to start their own. They've gone off to do their own things or they go someplace where they are appreciated or their value. And so what happens is these people who've been kicked back at the top, oh shucks, they can't fumble people around from one place to the next no more because now that person, the next place is suffering. And the next place is going to be suffering. The next place is going to be suffering. So then you see in what we're seeing now where all these places are slowly closing down. But the laborers, the people who got the skills, they're doing just fine. Because their skills, their gifts are truly making room for them. Just as the scripture said. So where the ideology of, the, of those who um, have sat back and just relied on the hard work of other people. Now they're having to learn other ways to make a living for themselves um, because people are taking their skills elsewhere. And so you will have those who have been at the top making so much money for so long, 
um, that wealth is now being transferred to the one who's been actually putting in the physical labor, making them that money. That's just my little two cent. That's just a scenario that came to me while I was listening to my er elder. <laughs> and he was sharing so much information. He was like, spot on, spot on. You know, he's like, yeah, you know, people are learning. He, you know, you learn skills and it takes time. You know, there'd be some people while you're learning skills. I've had friends that I've had that I've, I'm, I wouldn't really say lost. I would say that um, were a blessing to be disconnected from me. Um, because as you continue to grow, you realize you really didn't lose anything when no one was really pouring into you and supporting you as a friendship. But I've had people who, um, other sisters, who um, were, were should have been supportive, whereas they saw me doing certain things as a single woman. I'm, I'm repairing certain things that I need to be, that need to be repaired. I'm not trying to be out here uh given what I got to get what I want you know no I'm not doing that type of stuff I'm learning what I need to learn and getting by the way I need to get by the upright way and I've had sisters that will criticize me oh you shouldn't be doing that oh you did you do you need to go and let a man do this for you one sister in particularly said that to me but see I know what she does when she needs some of the similar work that I needed done I know how she gets it done and where she goes but I'm not that type of woman so I do it myself you know, and then it got to the point where God had to humble a certain one individual. They criticized me for doing something myself, my own work. And then they had to come turn right back around within that same week. And they needed my help to do that same thing. That was God humbling them. You see, so having skills <laughs> in this day and time, oh, it's going to sustain you, baby. It's going to sustain you. If you've been putting in work, if you've been laboring, and it may seem like nobody's appreciated you, but if you look back, if you take a look in the mirror, and you got all, all so many skills, and, and you can, you're can you gifted in so many different areas, oh, it's about to pay off. It's going to pay off big time. In the times ahead, oh, it's going to pay off. So, anyway, that's just what I wanted to share after talking to this elder, it just blessed my soul and it kind of went hand in hand with many of the things that um, he was sharing um, after the experience I had this morning and it took me back to that, right? So having skills, having skills is going to pay off in the times of head. Just adding to what I said earlier, it's going to pay off in the times of head. Take the time. To learn as much as you can learn now, whether it be learning how to grow your own food, everybody need to eat. Learning how to manage resources, um, as far as you know, self-sufficiency. You know how to survive, how to just you know get things done, things that are needed in the times that we're heading in. Right? Skills they're going to matter. They're going to matter. And when you're starting businesses and stuff like that, you need to know how to run your own business from A to Z. Even if you don't do it, even if you hire somebody to do it, you still need to know how to do that thing. These people, these managers are, are in positions of embarrassment this morning. They're nice people, but they're in positions of embarrassment. Here go, they are the managers in supervisory positions telling people what to do who have skills that they don't even have. So how can you truly evaluate them and you know dispatch certain work or you know properly distribute the workload when you don't even know how to do it yourself that's an embarrassment you have people in these positions that don't even know the job how to do the job that they're supervising other people to do <laughs> oh baby the wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous y'all have a blessed day that's just my little two cents